Hello guys, how you guys doing? This is Anthony here and welcome to the fifth episode of Minecraft Texture Packs Review. Yes. Ah, finally, right? It's been a while. It's been a while since I did a uh, texture pack review. And it appears that my screen is frozen. Um Okay, well, I'm sure that it's gonna get better. <laughs> there you go. But um today's texture pack will be Something called Shotcraft. Now, thankfully, uh, I somebody requested this for me. They said that um, it looks great. It looks fine. It looks great. I just said great twice. <laughs> it looks pretty good. So I decided to give it a try. And thank you for submitting your uh, your texture pack in, um, or texture pack request. And I'm very glad somebody did that because um, I don't have a lot of texture pack requests. So I want all of you guys to go to the Minecraft forums. Tell me what texture pack you want me to do next time. All right, that's that's your homework. <laughs> no, okay, I don't give out homeworks. Just just chill. Okay. Anywho. All right. So why am I starting from the Nether portal? Well, first of all, look how sexy this obsidian looks. Now, this obsidian is so sexy that it can almost compete with the Albion texture pack obsidian. Yeah, the vanilla ice cream one. Yeah, it looks freaking awesome, right? This one can compete with that because. Oh man, just just look, just look at this obsidian. It looks so so beastly. I'm gonna go up here and I want you guys to look at it. Damn. Okay. Now, oh oh no, I'm drowning. This truly depicts, I think, portrays the real Nether. You know, it's oh, it's devilish. It's it's mean. It's wants to kill you. And um, the Nether stone here as well it looks pretty good. Um. You know, just not, I really don't have anything to say about the Nether Stone. It looks red. That's the way it should be. So I'm not complaining about it. It looks fine. I have nothing to say about it. I have nothing to say against it. In fact, now something that you're gonna notice in this texture pack, in my opinion, is the uh, the glossiness of the texture packs. So I'm gonna go around on a soup around, and I want you guys to tell me. I want you guys to just think for yourself. The first thing that comes into your mind when you're looking at this texture pack. Ready? Now, as you can see, in my opinion at least, everything looks like, <laughs> every single um, item that PNG looks like it just received a freaking oil massage. I mean, look how, for example, the cobblestone here looks like, man, it looks so luminescent. I don't know, man. I don't know, guys, but <laughs> it just looks so, sh not shiny, but glossy. It has that oilish texture to it. That's just that's that's just my opinion. I don't know how you guys think about it, but that's the first thing that came into my mind, and um, I think it'd be a very good idea to start with the cobblestone here. Um, the cobblestone, as you can see, I know some people don't like me, like saying how the cobblestone looks a little too blocky, like unlike the original texture, uh, original texture. And look, guys, I I know it's opinionated, but I think I agree with you guys in some way because it looks better when you're building something. As you can see, this cobblestone. It looks pretty hot like it makes everything look pretty much better than the regular uh, cobblestone texture pack texture I mean there you go the cobblestone yeah you know what guys I do kind of agree with you when you're building something cobblestone looks kind of crap so you use stone so this this cobblestone makes it look you know not only this cobblestone but like usually most other cobblestone has the text texture where it looks blocky like it looks like it has like like a block you know what I mean? Yeah. So the cobblestone, you know what? I like it. Fine. Because it looks great when you when you use it on buildings. Um since we're here, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just well <coughs> oh sorry. I might as well just talk about the railroad tracks or the minecart tracks. Nothing fancy, just it looks fine. Um unlike the other one, it it's curved here. I like it. It's detailed enough. It's not too detailed where <laughs> I don't like I I go why? Why did you even put it in there? So it looks fine. Now I don't like. Remember, I don't like too like too much detail in the texture pack because I think that ruins the whole idea of Minecraft. Okay, all right. Now the soul sand here. I don't really have anything to say about it since I don't. I don't really care. I don't think anybody cares what soul sand looks like. <laughs> I mean, 
from my point of view, it looks fine because it's also from the Nether, and then the Nether has the devilish, the dark and evil look to it. So props, I guess. I mean, I really do not care how it looks. But that's so sand, and this I really like. Oh, I don't. I almost broke it. This is the Nether. Uh, not the Nether. The Lightstone. And as you can see, it's, it looks very. It looks very blocky, and it looks very sexy. Actually, it looks very good. It, might, it actually looks like a television. I don't know about you guys, but kind of. And um, the dyes, the wool, the colored dyes. As you can see, each one of them has a different pattern to it. So I, I personally like it because I think it brings a whole new, um, whole new like idea of maybe setting up your colored wools in different in different ways or patterns to make it to make something even more awesomer instead of just one texture for it. So you can I don't know I feel I feel like with with this texture pack oh let's with this texture pack you can make something even more awesome looking without having too much too many problems on which color to use because each of them have their own little diverse um, uh, pattern here so you can do whatever you want with it and here's sandstone uh, it looks very refined it looks very good nothing else to say about that let's get inside the glass like I said this is the kind of glass that I do like but my favorite type of glass is where it doesn't have anything. It's just clean glass. Maybe, maybe on the edges, like a line, to you know tell tell apart. But just, just I can see fine through it. You know, it's not clean cut. But you know what? I'm not gonna complain about that too much. Um, I, the workbench looks pretty good. Um, the the thing here looks a little pixelated, but I can work with it. It looks fine. There's the workbench for you guys. Um, oh, not the workbench. What am I talking about? The record player. Yeah, the record looks a little pixelated, but <laughs> but it's fine. The chest also looks very very simple, actually, very simple and and refined. Yeah, and there you go. Now in this texture pack, not many items have changed. Only like cobblestone maybe changed, or the things that are changed are gonna be changed in items, obviously. <laughs> now this is a workbench. Now I had trouble understanding why he put um, drawers here but um, you know I guess it's just for the looks just for aesthetics so here's the workbench and here are the <laughs> here is the uh, here is the furnace this furnace kinda looks like to me a heater of some sort but <laughs> I don't know I guess it's preference not my favorite furnace but I'll work with it <clears throat> now as you can see from here the paintings are not changed once again I prefer Texture packs that have a modified, uh, modified pictures. So that's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, I really do not like the pixelated pictures. These pictures came out fine, but the little ones seem a little bit pixelated. So I like them changed. Now here's the bookcases, and the bookcases are nice. It's colorful. I can deal with it. You know, I can work with it. It looks good. Um, and let's get out here. The grass, as you can see here, is very simple. Actually, I'm gonna go outside actually and check it out for you. The cactus also looks very similar to other texture packs, and so is the torch. The torch also looks very similar to the, to its original texture. Just I think it has more of the little metal tint on the um, on the wood. So there you go. Here's the grass. The grass also, as you can see, not the grass, but the dirt. I guess you can see the grass, but the dirt looks very glossy. Oh, hello, cow. Yeah, do you guys know what I'm like talking about? Like glossy. I mean, it just looks like it's gonna. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. it, it I'm just, I'm just gonna say glossy. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna talk to you guys about the doors. Now th there are many texture packs where they modify the door completely so that it's totally blocked off. Now, this is the kind of door that I like. As you can see, there's an opening. It does have an opening. And you can attack mobs through the door. Now, this is like the perfect example of an ideal door that I prefer. The original texture has it where there are four, four little squares where you can attack from. But I like it where it has a total opening here so I can just all oh, attack all, all berserk on them. You know? So, you know, props to the developer of this texture pack. I like it a lot. You know? The door is probably one of my favorite designs for this texture pack so yay here's the wood I'm just chop it down 
There you go. <clears throat> Once again, very similar to the original texture. Uh, it looks a bit darker, I guess. Put that back. Now, here's the wood itself. Now, the wood is very similar to cobblestone, which I can go both ways. I can like it or dislike it. It's, it's totally opinionated, guys. So whatever I may say, you might disagree with it. I'm fine with that. Please leave in the comments what you disagree with and, you know, just tell me your opinions. Yeah. As you can see, yeah, the wood is very similar to cobblestone and I guess I like it. It's great for building materials and um, just looks, it looks, you know, it looks, it's very appealing, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Now here are the bricks. The bricks is fine. This is just the way I like them. I like them. No, I, oh, crap. The bricks don't need to be complicated. Like, this is fine. I like the original texture for the bricks. So great. It looks a bit glossy, like I said before, and it's fine. Um, what else? Pumpkins? Yeah, it is a bit of a bit of um, <laughs> a bigger smile, I think. I think. I could be wrong, but I think it is a bigger smile. And the flowers, there you go, there you go. It's purple, not red now. And here are the yellow flowers. It's a sunflower now. <laughs> the sunflower is a good little touch to it. I like it. And what else can we talk about? I think that's about it, right, guys? Hmm. Let me check here. There's no custom lava, there's only animated lava, so there you go. Um, <clears throat> the ladders, the ladders are fine. They're ladders. Like, I'm not gonna go into, I, I'm trying not to go into too much detail on little things. Little, little things, unless I really don't like it. <laughs> Ooh, some eggs. Thank you, chickens. Now, what's in here? Ah, <sighs> yeah, nothing, nothing else that I really want to talk about here. <clears throat> I mean, that's about it, guys. I mean, that's the texture pack for you guys. Here are the pictures. Like I said, it has not been modified at all. So give or take, it's up to you guys. Now, I'm going to finish it off here by saying thank you to everyone who has been watching my texture pack reviews. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one too. And I'm always, always going to have a link in, the, link in the description for you guys to go ahead and download the texture packs. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been the fifth episode, and the texture pack is called Shockcraft. Shockcraft. And, yeah, I give it a 8.5 out of 10, just because, you know, it's a solid texture pack. There's not there's not many two things that I don't like. I mean, I praise it. I usually praise every texture pack for putting a lot of effort into them. That's why there are such high numbers. I mean, really, 8 out of 10, I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Um, did I talk about the gravel? The gravel, I don't really care. I guess it's all up to preference. The gravel looks fine. I'm not going to complain about it. I really don't care how the gravel looks. And sand, oh, sand looks amazing, actually. Sand, I like the pattern. I like the pattern inside the sand. Oh, totally, totally forgot to talk about that. But, um, yeah, the sand looks great. There you go. The sand has a nice little texture to it. I, 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 I like the look and the feel of it. I mean, the feel of it, I... I, I the feel of it. <laughs> if I was an actual character in Minecraft, I would like the feel of it. Alright guys, anyways, thank you for watching. Peace out, and download it if you want to. Give it a try, give it a whirl. Alright? Peace.